From the 2002 Western Conference Finals to the infamous collision from the 2006 NBA Finals, there are tons of moments in NBA playoff history that are super controversial. Starting off, it's the 1998 Final between the Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz. This match is really one for the history books. In fact, it's even featured in a Netflix documentary called The Last Dance. It covers Michael Jordan's basketball career, particularly his last season with the Chicago Bulls. One of the most memorable moments in the series is when Jordan made the winning shot in Game 6 of the 1998 NBA Finals. With a quick crossover, look at Brian Russell slips and Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. Jordan's final shot in that game has gone down in history as one of the greatest clutch moments in sports, but there was some controversy leading up to it. Brian Russell, the Utah Jazz player assigned to guard Jordan, claimed that Jordan had illegally pushed off him, which gave him an unfair advantage if you ask me. Jordan has since denied this claim. Plus, replays of the play seem to show that there was some contact between the two players, but it's unclear whether or not it was a foul. Despite the disputed nature of the play, the officials in charge of the game did not call a foul, and Jordan shot ultimately won the game for the Bulls. Quite honestly, it was one of the most thrilling moments for basketball fans around the world, and cemented Jordan's status as one of the greatest players in NBA history. This was really the play that hurt Isaiah because they scored so quickly. Michael got in there and scored within four seconds. But that's not the only controversial moment on this list, because there's also the 20 2016 final between Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. If you ask me, this final was one of the most exciting and dramatic series in basketball history. The Golden State Warriors, who had won a record-breaking 73 games in the regular season, were heavily favored to win the championship against the Cleveland Cavaliers, who had never won an NBA title before. The Warriors got off to a strong start in the series, taking a 3-1 lead with just one more win needed to clinch the title. However, the Cavaliers were not ready to give up just yet. Led by LeBron James and Kyrie Irving, the Cavs put on a stunning display of basketball in Game 5. All that, with both players scoring 41 points each to help their team secure a crucial win and keep their championship hopes alive. In Game 6, the Cavs won again, this time by a score of 115-101, forcing a decisive Game 7. The final game was a tense affair, with both teams trading blows throughout. In the end, it was the Cavaliers who emerged victorious, thanks to a clutch three-pointer from Kyrie Irving and some crucial defensive stops by the team. The final score was 93-89, and the Cavs had completed one of the most remarkable comebacks in NBA history. This win was particularly sweet for LeBron James, who had grown up in Ohio, and returned to the Cavaliers after spending several years with the Miami Heat. It was also a testament to the resilience and determination of the Cavs team, who refused to give up despite despite facing overwhelming odds. That said, there's another controversial moment worth mentioning, and it's the 2002 Western Conference Finals between the Los Angeles Lakers and Sacramento Kings. The Kings, who hadn't reached the NBA Finals since 1951, were up 3-2 heading into Game 6 and were just one win away from reaching the Finals. But the game was marred by a series of questionable calls from referee Tim Donaghy, who would later be convicted of betting on NBA games and and providing inside information to gamblers. Yikes. One of the most egregious calls was a no call on a play where Kobe Bryant elbows Mike Bibby in the face, which left Bibby bloodied and forced him to temporarily leave the game. The Kings and their fans were outraged by the officiating, and many believed that the game was fixed in favor of the Lakers. The Lakers went on to win Game 6 and Game 7, denying the Kings a spot in the NBA Finals. The controversy surrounding the series continued to linger long long after it was over, with many fans and analysts calling into question the integrity of the NBA and its officials. The TV ratings for the series were way too good, and some even speculated that the league had instructed the officials to make calls that would extend the series to a seventh game. While the Kings never made it to the NBA Finals that year, their valiant effort and the controversy surrounding the series cemented their place in NBA history, and remains a topic of debate among fans and analysts to this day. 
Plus, it wouldn't be a list of the most controversial moments in NBA playoff history without this next game. It's the 2000 Western Conference Finals between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Portland Trail Blazers. This was a closely contested series that went down to a winner-takes-all Game 7. The series was tied at 3-3, and both teams were eager to secure their spot in the NBA Finals. However, the game was overshadowed by a controversy surrounding the officiating. The Lakers were awarded 37 free throws compared to the Trail Blazers' 16, leading many to question the impartiality of the referees. In addition, two of the Trail Blazers' key players, Arvidas Sabanis and Scottie Pippen, were fouled out of the game while guarding Lakers stars Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. This left the Trail Blazers at a significant disadvantage, and they eventually lost their 15-point lead in the fourth quarter. The lopsided officiating and the controversial fouls led many fans and analysts to question the fairness of the game. Some believed that the officials had shown bias towards the Lakers, while others suggested that there may have been a broader conspiracy at play. The controversy surrounding the game and the officiating continues to be a topic of debate among NBA fans and analysts to this day. Despite the controversy, the Lakers went on to win the NBA championship that year, securing their first title since 1988. The Trail Blazers, on the other hand, were left to ponder what might have been if the officiating had been more balanced. There's another match worth mentioning, and that's the 2006 NBA Finals between the Dallas Mavericks and the Miami Heat. This was a time of great triumph for the Miami Heat and great heartbreak for the Dallas Mavericks. The series was neck and neck, with both teams fighting tooth and nail to claim the championship title. But then came Game 6, and with it, one of the most contentious refereeing decisions in the history of the sport. As the clock ticked down in the fourth quarter, the Heat's Dwayne Wade drove to the basket, only to be met by the Mavericks' Dirk Nowitzki. Now, let's be clear, this was no ordinary collision. Oh no, it was a clash of the titans, a battle for the ages. Wade, with his lightning-fast reflexes and nimble footwork, was like a cobra striking its prey. Nowitzki, with his towering height and teutonic strength, was like a Viking warrior defending his homeland. It was a clash that would go down in NBA history. In fact, the moment is remembered as one of the most infamous to this day. It was shocking enough as it is, but to make matters worse, the call gave Wade two free throws, which he promptly sank with only 26 seconds left on the clock. The Mavericks were in disbelief. I mean, how could this happen? Was it all a big conspiracy? Had the refs been paid off by the Heat's billionaire owner, Mickey Arison? But there was no denying the outcome. The Heat went on to win Game 6 and the championship title, thanks in no small part to that controversial call. As for Nowitzki and the Mavericks, they were left to wonder what could have been. To this day, the blocking foul remains a source of debate and controversy in the NBA community. Some say it was a fair call, others say it was a travesty. But one thing's for sure, it was one heck of a moment in basketball history. Though, that's all of the most controversial moments in NBA playoff history.